do a walk around today and show you some of the accessories we fit here to this Range Rover Sport. Talk you through some of the options. Hopefully it will give you some idea, some inspiration of what you can do to your car. So let's uh, have a look around here on the outside. So we've got the later style 2010 rear lights. We've got the smoked version in there. Um, on the rear tailgate here, it's a 2005, so it's got the twin tailgate. You can open up this top bit here as well as open up the hole. But we've put this panel in which makes it look like the later 2012 with the strip going along. The earlier ones just add the little bit in the middle over the number plate there. We've got the chrome lettering on here. We've got the spoiler, so this spoiler is bigger than the standard rear spoiler. This was fitted to the autobiography and HST models. So that's the rear spoiler. Obviously we've got, this is a supercharged, so we've got the, the sat-nav antenna on the top. We've also got the roof rails fitted along the top here. So that's it. We haven't put the crossbars on, but we've got the crossbars if we want to go across. Um, we've got the wind deflectors here on the window, so this these perspex deflectors along here. We've got the chrome window trim, so sometimes these rubbers can weather a bit. Sometimes they get a little blistering in. So this stainless steel trim that goes along here is quite an effective. It's not too too glitzy. Um, right, door handles, we've got the door handle covers. So the normal door handles are grey. We do the replacement skins where you can change the whole skin or the covers that just stick on. We've gone for the covers on this one. We've colour coded the lower parts of the door here. So we just took the standard ones and we've painted those. You'll notice we've got the side steps fitted and underneath the side steps we've got the side tubes as well. So they just make it look a little bit lower to the ground and they give you a little bit more protection. If someone opens their car door at the supermarket, it tends to catch this bar rather than dent your door. We've got larger alloys on here. This car is a 2005, but we've put the 2010 front, complete front. So you've got to do the wings, the headlights, the grille and the bumpers together. They all sort of fit together in this region like a jigsaw puzzle. Um, so on the 2010 wings, they come right up to this door shut here. So we've got the LED side repeaters and we've got these upgraded side vents here with the supercharged text in them. We've got these wing mirror covers that have got a built-in welcome light and indicator. They're quite cool. Right, so when we come on to the front end, we've upgraded the headlights, so we've got the 2010 headlights. We've gone for the black lettering on the front. So you can probably hardly see that in there. There we go, we fitted that. We've gone for the 2010 autobiography style grille, and that's all black. So you can get this in different color combinations. There's the frame, there's like a U trim and a mesh, and you various color combinations. We've just fitted this yesterday, and this is the SVR look front bumper. So this is supposed to make it look like a sort of the newer Range Rover Sport SVR there. So we've got that. Right. Obviously, it's going to be the same the other side. Uh, let's look inside and see what else we've got on the inside. So this car came with these wooden strips. Some cars came with leather, and you can change these. Now, the supercharge came with these little black logos here. So that's another upgrade you can do. They were green on some of the lower spec models. We've changed these even on the supercharge. These door pulls were... Um, just the grey plastic. So we've changed these. These are actually lined oak. They're wood veneer. It's hard to see on the camera. Um, we've got the LED welcome lights in the bottom of the door. That's a good upgrade. Um, all right, moving inside. On the air vents, we've got the, the um, lined oak wood upgrade there, as well as the radio and the channel. Some cars have these as wood. Um, they did a cherry, a walnut, black gloss, and this lined oak. Um, you can see the lined oak pattern a little bit better there. We've also gone for the upgraded gear knob. The standard one was leather. We've gone for the upgraded glossy one here. We've got the carbon fibre steering wheel, silver carbon fibre steering wheel upgrade on there. We've upgraded the foot pedals and foot rest, you can see there. That's another upgrade. Okay, the rest of the car, I think pretty much the back is fairly standard. We obviously got the upgrades on the rear 
door cards there. So hopefully that gives you some ideas of the, the upgrades and things you can do on your Range Rover Sport. Good luck with that.